Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBan. As video, we are gonna be talking about this particular Python problem here, as you can see. Now this one is seems to be very simple at the first glance, but it's a bit trickier to solve. And yeah, this has got a very higher chance to be asked in uh, interviews or in some competitive examinations and so on. So I have posted this question uh, a day before yesterday in the community post, the CodeBan community post here as you can see the same question over here now 54 uh, percentage of the total respondents got it to the right answer as you can see the right answer is the third option 56 56 comma 23 now uh, to be frank I was not expecting this kind of result I was expecting the majority the majority to be the first option the 56 23 now that's because even if we look into the code in, in, a, in a glance and if we just um, uh, go through it, uh, go through it, and we'll of course get that 56, 56, 23 here. But if we just look into the interpreter, then we'll get the output as the third option. Now, I don't know how people got uh, the majority of the people got the third option, uh, but whatever it be, let's actually uh, evaluate this, this problem and let's actually um, uh, try to uh, find the mystery behind the, the uh, solution. The 56, 56, 23. So uh, uh, you'll of course get to know the, the the trickiest part once we actually if starts to evaluate the problem. So um, uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so I have uh, a switch to Visual Studio Code here. I have just copy and pasted that uh, that code block here, and I'll, I'll just uh, run, the, I have run the code here, as you can see, the output is the third option itself. Now we'll just evaluate this, this code and see what we get, with, uh, you know, without uh, actually interpreting or running this code, what we get uh, the output, the output we are getting. So we'll just evaluate that. So starting from here, now this is a tiny little function append function now um, it receives element so an element to be integer and the two now um, uh, the two uh, it has got a default argument uh, uh, to be a list so if two is not being passed into the function it will use this uh, default argument as an empty list so the, pro the, the function what, what it does is it will just append uh, that element whatever the element we received here to that two uh, 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 array or two list we just passed or the default one and it will just return that list over there so that's the basic append function here now the, the if we actually look into the code itself so list one is equal to append of 56 so this append will actually call invoke this function append function and the 56 will be passed to the element here so the element will be 56 and the two we actually didn't pass the two our argument here so it will take the default one so the default one is an empty list so uh, two dot append of element uh, will actually insert that element into the two uh, list so two we, we haven't passed it so it will take the default one so an empty list so um, the 56 is being passed or inserted into the empty list and it will just return that list with, with that 56 value so we'll, we'll get uh, the output as something like this one 56 in this manner okay in this manner so uh, if, if we actually look into uh, uh, we actually printed that so we'll get something like this one now let's move into the second line of code here so the append of 23 now the append of 23 will actually again invoke the function here the function will receive the element as 23 and the 2 again is not being passed into the function so it will just take the default one so the default one is an empty list again so that empty list dot append of 
of the element is 23 so we'll just append that 23 into the empty list and we'll just return that list over there so what we will be expecting again is something like this one uh, the 23 so th this will be the value of list 2 we'll just print that list 2 over there so this is what we are expecting and uh, the, if we just write the whole output over there we'll expect something like this one 56 23 now this is the uh, first option over here now uh that's because that that's the basic uh, if you just look into the first glance we'll we'll get the output in this fashion but if we actually run the code as you can see if we uh, run the code you'll get that uh, 56 56 comma 23 the third option now why that's the question why we get that uh, that answer to be 56 56 comma 23 now that's because of the working of the default argument so I'll just get rid of this comments here so I'll just get rid of all these comments here and I'll just get rid of that spaces that empty lines there now the default argument uh, works in in a different manner in a in Python or in a in a significant manner uh, in Python so um, you might be expecting like if we invoke the function so in this case if we invoke the append function with the element to be 56 and without the two argument here then uh, the default argument will be initialized so in this case uh, a new empty list will be initialized and into that new list will append that element and return that list so this is what we are expecting now again if we invoke the function again then without the two argument then again the the empty list will be initialized again the second time it will be initialized an empty list and it will just insert that element into that empty list and it will just return this is what we are expecting but the actual case is the, if we invoke the function uh, it will not actually evaluate this stuff here this is not evaluated at the at the uh, function calling instead it, it is evaluated in the function definition itself now what I meant by that is very simple uh, I, I'll, I'll just print some stuff and then you'll get to know what it is now I'll print append dot underscore underscore defaults now uh, I'll, I'll just comment these steps here and if I run the code again you can see that uh, this one right here so so I'll, I'll just save that and uh, run once again so you can see that a tuple of a list an empty list as you can see here now this is because the whatever we we actually defined in the uh, as the default argument in the function declaration it will go to the underscore underscore defaults underscore underscore special variable so whatever we type in here so this is an empty list so it will go to the the uh, 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 the tuple now the underscore underscore defaults is is a tuple and inside that tuple we can see that empty list there now in order to clarify this one I'll just add a new one so a is equal to maybe um, I'll just say 5 for example and if I run the code here you can see that in defaults uh, special variable you can see a tuple of two items the first item is is this empty list and the second item is the is the 5 itself so uh, whatever we passed in whatever the default variables here it will just actually gets appended to the underscore underscore defaults special variable so that that's a kind of logic we, we want to apply here so uh, we'll, we'll just uh, uncomment this stuff and we'll, we'll just um, actually comment the print statements here and if I just say like the um, append defaults uh, you know th this line of code uh, into here if I just run the code here then you can get, you'll get to know the working the actual working now initially the the defaults in the defaults this will be this will be there the empty list and the five so I'll, I'll get rid of this five here and I and I'll run the code again so you can see initially the empty list is there in the default special variable now we will just call this append function here with the value 56 element so it will just append that element the, the element 56 to uh, not to actually a new list here instead it will refer whatever in the default uh, special variable so it will refer this one this first element here it is not actually instantiating or in initializing a new empty list instead it refers the the whatever is there in the default special variable so it refers this one this first item 
so so that you can see if we print after the function invocation then you can see the defaults the, the list it has got that uh, 56 over there now if we if we just copy and paste the same exact stuff here and if I run the code again then you can again see that the defaults one the in the defaults tuple you can see the the list gods appended to uh, the 23 as well so uh, this is the basic working of the default arguments in Python uh, it is not actually uh, at every time we invoke the, the append function it is not actually instantiating or initializing a new uh, empty list instead it is just referring the the list in the defaults tuple here so this one the defaults of zero in this case so and the crazy thing is that uh, if we actually uh, uh, co comment these steps here and if I just print uh, uh, something like, uh, or, or I'll, j I'll just uh, before printing the defaults uh, what I can actually do is I can just say print defaults so defaults is a tuple is a tuple so the first element I'll just for, uh, fetch the first element the zeroth element dot so the zeroth element is now the list itself the empty list so dot append Maybe I'll just say 15. Now you can see that if I run that, the defaults one is now 15. So even before we invoke the functions, we can actually um, uh, do some operations on, on that defaults variable as well. So if I just uh, uncomment these steps here and uh, I'll just get rid of uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, that default there. Now you can see that we got that 15 at the, at the, at the as the first element and then only our 56 and 23 is appended. So everything happens in the defaults variable and uh, try to note that uh, the, the empty list is not initialized every time we invoke the function. So that's the basic working of that default arguments there. So this is a kind of logic that we need to apply. So um, I'll, I'll just get rid of all those stuff and uh, go back to the previous one. So this one and in order to get uh, the other behavior. So I'll just get rid of this one as well. Now, uh, in order to get, uh, this is the right answer. So you, you, you got uh, to know how that works. And now in order to get the other behavior, so in order to get something like this one, 56, uh, 23 in this manner. So one might expect this, this behavior uh, at, at, at the first glance. So in order to get this sort of behavior here, I'll just get, get rid of this one. Uh, in order to get that behavior, you, you, you just uh, initialize that two to be none here and just check if if that is none so if two is none so if it is none then you actually initialize that two to be an empty list so this one would actually do the trick if we just uh, run that you, you get that 56 23 now the, what what this test is uh, if the two is not being passed it will be none and we'll just check if it is none then we'll actually initialize a new new list here new empty list here now this is initializing in, in, the, in the function uh, scope itself not not in the underscore underscore defaults um, variable special variable so this is actually the solution of uh, of getting this one and also um, uh, the the uh, kind of output of the the other one the this one is the 56 56 23 so this is how we get to know uh, that the output is this one the third option itself so I hope you uh, understood the concept of the default arguments in Python and yeah that's about it that's about the video if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon here to it so thank you guys thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one